Activity. I want to talk just a little bit about the configuration of this Atlas rocket. So first of all, it's been, uh, the Atlas family of rockets has a, just a storied history. Um, the last time we launched a capsule with humans in it, though, was 56 years ago when Gordon Cooper was launched on uh, Phase 7 in uh, May of 63. And of course, John Glenn was launched on the first human orbital mission on an Atlas rocket in 62. There have been 661 Atlas launches in the family of Atlas vehicles. And this is the 81st launch of the current version of Atlas, the Atlas V. And so it's just got a long storied history. Um, the configuration of this vehicle is N22, November 22. The N stands for no fairing. Uh, most of our vehicles have either a five meter or a four meter fairing, but um, the capsule, of course, flies without a fairing. Um, the second two is two solid rocket boosters that are on the side of the vehicle to increase the lift capability. And then the, the um, last number in that N22 is um, two engines on the Centaur stage. It's a dual engine Centaur. This is the first time a dual engine Centaur has flown on the Atlas V vehicle. Previous versions of Atlas um, had dual engine Centaur, so we've flown that before, but not on an Atlas V. Some other things unique about this vehicle, if you look at it, there's an aero skirt that comes down from the capsule. That's to um, work the aerodynamics so that we don't create um, a lot of aeroacoustics as we go through that. Um, of course, we've added a crew access tower to the pad so we can, um, so John and his team can get to the hatch. And there's a system that's a part of Atlas called the Emergency Detection System for the crewed missions that will fly in a passive mode on this flight but when we have crew on board, we'll be able to um, detect if there's any issues with the rocket and um, let the Starliner know so that an abort could be executed. And so those are kind of the new and unique things um, for that. As John mentioned, we had the launch readiness review this morning. We're tracking no significant issues um, with the launch vehicle either. And um, so we're looking forward to uh, Friday morning and hearing the words, um, Go Atlas, Go Centaur, Go Starliner.